Alexa, turn on the lights. Alexa, turn on the TV. Alexa, play one of those nights by the weekend. Alexa, turn this up. What is going on everybody? Ladies and gentlemen, Simply Pops here. Back again with another tech video. And today we're going to be looking at the TP-Link Smart Wi-Fi Plug. Now, this is a smart plug. Basically, you can turn on and off uh, different products. Obviously, you got to take a plug using your app or using your voice if you have the Amazon Echo. Which, in my case, I do. And I do want to turn off the TV. So now, boom. Easy setup download the app which I gotta download it right there on my iPhone 6 plus uh, plug it into any outlet and then boom right there all right remote access anywhere so this is good so I could be in college turn off my TV or on my TV which is pretty cool though if you forgot to leave it on or something or I don't know but uh, you got scheduling so you can have a certain product turn on at a certain time away mode Basically, it'll let you know like when you're away, so it's automatically gonna turn off the your product. So I think this is nice. And look, Amazon Echo, you guys can see it there. That's why I brought this plug. So, without further ado, let's take a look what's inside. Oh, okay, we got a two-year warranty. That's what's up from TP. Good looks on the warranty TP. All right, I don't have no unboxing knife, so we're just gonna do everything beast mode. Shout out to Floss. All right, see, we don't need no knife. We don't need no knife. All right, but the first thing I should do, well, let's take a look at the plug. I was about to download the app, but I'm going to have to anyway, so. All right, so inside the box, we got a box, all right? You just slide that out. And this kind of do remind me of the, um, the light bulb that I unboxed like uh, two months ago. Okay, you got your books, who we'll read books. This is just a simple outlet. All right, download the app. Okay. We're going to download that in a second and look at the outlet itself. Now, this is a, I wouldn't say it's a big outlet, but it looked like a normal outlet that would just go to any other wall. So, it looks pretty big. And that's what she said. But this is a smart outlet. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, and that's it inside the box. So, that's all you're getting. And this will cost you. I got this for $25 on Amazon. Sometimes it go on sale, sometimes it doesn't. My brother texting me. All right, so I'm gonna set this thing up, download the app, do what I gotta do and show you guys a demonstration on why this is such a dope ass product, which I believe. Talk amongst yourselves, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I set it up right here. It is a pain in the ass to move this whole thing. I'm sorry for my language, but I got the TV cable closed inside of here, so it's, it's it's heavy. But right now, it's flashing amber and green. I'm going to have to download the app right now. So I just want to update you guys. That's it. All right, y'all. So let's install this app real quick. Okay, so we could just go into the app store. Search it up. TP link. I normally should have just... All right, so there we go. All right, yeah. So my bad. The name of the app is called Kessa. All right, Kessa from mobile. Which, matter of fact, log in to access your device. You know what? Why not? Let's log in. I'm gonna log in. We we chose the smart plug, which is plugged in back there. I did show you guys. Okay, so we're going to our Wi-Fi. All right. So this is easy. This is similar to the Alexa. No, not you, Alexa. Okay. Um, this is similar to the smart bulb that I reviewed. Pretty much the same thing. It's going to use Wi-Fi to turn on and off your devices. So this is nice. This is the future right here, guys. So, All right. So I just simply connect it. Even though the lights kind of did give me some problems. Okay. So I'm connected right now. We go back into the app. And we're going to name this one TV. Okay. So TV. Um, icon if they can have a nice little television that would be nice you know what let's pick let's pick any I'll, I'll do this later I'll do this a little bit later we'll just pick the plug okay almost done and I gotta say this is going a lot smoother than the LifeX bulb green right now 
Trust me, it's green right now. I wouldn't be lying. It looks pretty easy. You can schedule your run time. And it'll show you how many hours that you have your TV on or whatever product that's on. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so total routine, pass. Yo, this is nice. So it'll give you a little stats on how many times or how long you have this product on. So that's pretty cool. All right, you got a schedule. So you can set your schedule, see if, if the product is going to turn on. So I like to wake up at uh, 8 o'clock or 8.30 a.m. So you can just have the TV automatically on. That's pretty cool or off. So the schedule feature is cool. Away is going to turn everything off. And as it's going to use your location, I might turn that off because it is going to drain battery. And you have a timer. So the timer is cool, especially at night. Maybe set the, the, the timers for two hours and it's automatically going to turn off or on. So this is a pretty cool app. Simple but effective. It's right to the point. So let's set up with the Amazon Echo. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Okay, so we're going to Smart Home. So we're going to have to get some more skills because this is a totally different skill. All right, so boom. Here we go. Enable skill. It's gonna ask me to log in. That's why I created the account. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I spent about an hour with this thing. It is a little bit of a pain. You do gotta set it up before you get yours. Uh, I had some trouble actually setting it up with the Echo. Let me get my phone. I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna show you guys. I actually had to turn on remote control. So you go into, you go into your device, which in my case is TV. You click on these two little, you know, switches and you have remote control make sure you take this on if this is off it will not work with the echo so after figuring all of that out I have to decide why this thing was not turned on my receiver so I unplugged it the receiver which is basically the sound system and I just plug it in strictly to the TV so I'm going to show you guys a quick little demonstration on all my echo products so far which is only two Alexa turn on the lights Okay, that's the lights. Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. See, and then look, the TV is turning on. And then there you have it, folks. There you have it. Alexa, turn off the TV. Okay. Alexa, turn off the lights. And there you have it, folks. There we have it. Okay, so this is the TP-Link Smart Plug. I love it, but it was a pain in the ass to set it up with the Echo, in my opinion. Uh, but that's what I get for not reading the instructions. So that was my fault, really and truly. With It works well with the Echo. I believe it. Uh, it wasn't so friendly with this. Uh, let me show you guys real quick. Didn't work so friendly with this guy. This guy is old anyway. And what happens is... Basically, this plug is like unplugging it without you actually unplugging um, whatever your product is. And basically, if you unplug this, it's automatically going to turn off on the inside. Because with the TV, if you unplug a TV while it's on and you plug it back in, it's automatically going to turn on. That's exactly how it's doing it right now. But with this receiver here, it's not. when you unplug it, it automatically turns off on the inside. If that makes any kind of sense, hopefully you guys understand. But uh, I was a little disappointed with this one. Yeah, I actually got to plug it back in because we do need surround sound up in this bitch. All right, so I'm done, guys. If I have to rate this out of five stars, I'll easily give it a four. But don't judge me on that. Right now, I'm in the honeymoon phase. I just got my product. Yeah. And the beauty thing is you can control this thing anywhere. So that's cool. So I control my brother. Had the TV on blast. And he could probably wake up. Oh, you know, the pranks and the trolling levels is up to point. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. And if you guys do want to see more of my tech videos, let me know down in the comments down below. Your feedback is always appreciated. And follow all my social media. It'll be in the description. All right, guys. Until next time. Deuces. Okay. So now, simply... All right, I know my area is a little messed up here, but I'm going to show you guys anyway because, you know, we all family here. Okay, so now when I push this green button. It should automatically turn on. You hear some kind of click, but it just doesn't turn on. 
All right, so I got to work. I had to turn off my receiver. My receiver was off, so it couldn't power on for some odd reason. So that's my receiver. That's what's plugged into the smart bulb right now, or the smart outlet right now. And the receiver is plugged into the TV. So now we could try it. Okay, I got to unlock my phone. We can try it right now. I guarantee it's going to work.